in this example, this is the table which we have created in which there are three rows and three columns. This is the simple table and in HTML we are, we are not giving any style, but in CSS we are giving some of the styles. Here we have written what kind of CSS? This is internal CSS. In internal CSS is written using style tag and style tag is there inside head tag and the CSS is written over here. In style tag, first we write the CSS to give the property to the table element. Here we put the name of element. The name of element is table. So that property will be applied to the whole table. These properties which we have written inside the curly bracket. These properties will be applied to the table element and this property will be applied to which element TD. TD means the information written between the TD where we are giving border and for table again we are giving the border here border is one pixel width solid and black again the same border is there but we are also using the property like border dash collapse so this property is used to collapse the separation between table border and td border cell border so there is no any separation between these two borders so <clears throat> there are two values for border collapse property First one is separate and another one is collapse. For table, we are giving these two properties, width and height. Width is 100%. So when width is 100%, the table will contain the 100% area of the web page. And the height is 100 pixel. So this is our resultant table output where these are the contents which are displayed inside the table cells. This is our table where in this table, these are the values displayed inside the cell and by default, it will be aligned like this left side. Now we will see how to change the alignment. I mean, suppose these values you want to display at center or at the right hand side. So how to change the their position? So for that purpose, there are two properties we are going to discuss. The first property is vertical dash align so vertical align means the data will be aligned vertically like this the value which you can assign to vertical align property is there are three values either you can use bottom or you can use top or you can use middle here we will use the property vertical align okay vertical align is top Now you can see the movement. Previously it was displayed at the middle. Now it is displayed at the top. Similarly, if suppose you are using bottom. So let us see the difference. Now I, I will refresh the page and let us see what happens. Now they are in bottom. Now how to align contents horizontally that we will see. So for that purpose, there is no property called horizontal align, but name of property is text align, not horizontal align. So text align property is used to align text. Text means to align the contents horizontally. So now there are three values. First is left. Left is the default value. Then right and center. These are the three values. Which one is default value? Left. Left is the default value. So here I will make uh, underline. Here the default value for vertical align, the default value is middle. Okay, so it is underlined. And here the default value is separate. Uh, this property is also used in TD text dash align followed by colon followed by here you can see the by default the uh, horizontal alignment is left side now there are these these three are the position here the value i am giving is right so now it will be displayed at the right hand side right hand side right bottom okay now the values are coming right bottom if suppose you are giving in place of bottom if you are giving middle okay and here you are giving 
So vertical align is middle and tax align is center. Now all the values at the center. So this is the way you can align the values. So total how many alignments are, how many positions are there? Three from vertical align and three from tax align. So three multiplied by three, nine positions. Now one more thing I want to add, you can also use padding property. So you know the what is the meaning of padding. Padding is the gap between uh, this border and the contents. So uh, this distance is called as padding. So this distance you can adjust with the help of padding property also. So this is uh, padding left, this is padding top, this is padding right and this is padding bottom. So this four you can also use. So you can uh, assign the position, you can give the position very precisely with the help of padding property. And now uh, let us discuss the next property. The next property which we are discussing which is tr colon hover so this property is used to set the style while moving the mouse pointer for example this is the table and suppose i am using moving mouse pointer here so this particular td or this particular row the background color will be changed whenever i am moving the mouse pointer so this kind of properties you can also give so while moving the mouse pointer uh, some of the style you if you want to change okay so with the help of which property tr followed by colon followed by hover let us see how this property works so just give the property name actually uh, this is not the property name property name is actually hover but this hover has to be used with this particular tag so this particular thing has to be written at the selector place so here i will write tr followed by colon over then opening and closing curly bracket it indicate that when we hover the tr tr means row so when we hover a row at that particular moment at that particular time the property which we are giving inside this curly bracket that will be applied so suppose you want to change the background color so here i will write background dash color followed by colon and followed by color suppose you are giving blue color so let us see what happens i will refresh the page now here you can see whenever i am whenever i am moving the mouse pointer you can see okay so now let us discuss the next property next property is called as nth child property and dash child property is also used with tr so here also i will write tr colon so again this nth child property is also used along with tr and this is also a selector okay tr followed by colon followed by nth dash child followed by opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket so what do you mean by nth child property so actually n child property having uh, one parameter also okay so here it also contains a bracket so in, inside the bracket you can write uh, either even or odd suppose here i am writing odd so what happens in the table all the odd number of rows all the odd number of rows the same style will be given for example suppose you are you want to change the background color for odd number of rows like first row then third row then fifth row so for that purpose you can use and child property and the value is odd if the value is even so in that case all the even number of rows background color will be changed okay or any other property suppose you want to change the text color so all odd number of rows text color will be changed or all the even number of rows text color will be changed so whatever property you write inside the curly bracket so that property will be applied to <coughs> that particular number of rows either odd number of rows or even number of rows uh, this is the table and uh, in this table uh, already i have given the whole property now i will add more rows here okay so in this table there are uh, six number of rows 
so here i will reduce the height also because there are six number of rows so here i reduce the height to 50 pixels first of all let us display uh, the output then we will see now here you can see there are six number of rows and in uh, these rows you can see the background colors are changing while i am moving the mouse pointer because of hover property okay so this property already here we have set background color is blue at the time of hovering the tr now let us see the nth child property so here i am giving the value is odd so if value is odd so at that time i want to change the background color again so here i will copy and i will paste and the background color the color value which i am giving is hash okay so you can also use hash code so hash code you remember the hash code which already uh, we have discussed in previous lecture so either, either you can give the directly the color name or you can give the hash code so why i am using here hash code because i don't want to use the very uh, sharp color i want to use very light color so that's why i have selected i have choose this particular value okay so uh, let us uh, execute it so this is very uh, light color you can see the difference between odd number of rows and even number of rows background color okay light blue i am giving so light blue yeah these are the this odd number of rows has become light blue now here you can see the hover property is not working in the n child so why it is coming so that also we will see now let us see what is the value if, if the value is even okay now here it is even so in this case the even number of rows has become uh, will become the light blue so i refresh it even number of rows are light blue now the whole property is not working here whenever i am using the n child property so the solution is just cut from here this particular property n child property so we are discussing uh, the what we have done previously Uh, in this example uh, we have seen that uh, it was coming uh, like this so when we move the mouse pointer so it is uh, because of hover property it is changing the background color whenever i move the mouse pointer but whenever i am using n child property so in that case the uh, n child properties the all even number of rows the background colors are not changing so here what i have done i have just put the n child property before the hover property okay so let us see what happens now i will save it so what i am doing is i just move from here previously in previous previous example first we are using hover property then we are using n child property now in this example we are using n child property first then hover property so let us see what happens so here you can see all the rows okay even it is n child property row all the rows uh, background colors are changing so this is the way uh, you can set the properties first you set the n child then you set the whole property okay so here we finish the table property